Okay, good morning and welcome to Shiva YouTube Daily Double. We are started yesterday in Umasech, the Masech Asorla. We're doing today Paragalif, Mishnah is based in Gimel. Mishnah Bay states, Eisha Boa Bosein Ola Aretz, Matsuin Natua Potter. This is really not relevant nowadays, but it was relevant at one point in history uh, when Kalishal came into Eretz Israel in the first time. So if a tree was already planted, right, it's Potter because the Pazik says, Kitavo Al Aretz in the when you come to Israel and you plant, you have to first come in and plant it. It was already planted before you got there. It's potter from Orla. Orla, again, is the fruit of a uh, fruit-bearing tree. For the first three years, you're not allowed to benefit from it if it either was grown in a Jew's field or it was planted by a Jew. We'll talk more about the distinction between that and between Eretz Israel and Chutz Laris. Orla applies in Chutz Laris, but maybe not to the same degree that it applies in Eretz Israel. Not to Avavishal Kivshu Chayav. If they planted it before the Kvisha, right? Once Yoshua went into Israel, they weren't, they hadn't conquered the land. It's Chayav. It doesn't say you need to be Kovish, it just has to come into the land. And I tell you, the Rabbin, let's say you plant the tree for the public use, it's Chayav. It's Chayav. Plus, he says, Yulachem Arelim, even if plural, even if for many people. Or Yudah, Poter, he says, there's another Pasuk going to Tatem, which is also plural. So I, when you have two ribuyim, two things which are in, in, uh, include something, so in riboya eracha riboya elalamai, the Torah says two ribuyim to tell you that it's excluded. And he holds, if it's a public tree, it's potter from Marla. We don't pass on the Rabbi Huda. A non Jew who plants, according to the Rav, he plants in the field of Israel. He plants. He's working for Israel. He plants a fruit tree in a, in a Jew's field. That Gazlan Shanata, or someone stole a piece of land and he planted. Vanotea Visfina, or he plants in a boat whose bottom is made of earthenware, of ceramic, because ceramic basically um, the the roots of the tree are able to penetrate the ceramic and go into the to the ground. Aolam Elav, or a tree that just grows by itself. Let's say some apple seeds fell out of a Victor Miller's pocket and just an apple tree started growing. It's Chayav and Orla. You don't have to actually plant it. It's planted by itself. It's high. We'll have to discuss this more going forward. Gimel, Elon Shenekar Vassel Emo, a tree, a fruit bearing tree that was planted in the ground. Apparently, didn't uh, or started producing fruit or hadn't produced fruit yet. And the wind blows it out. Vassel Emo, along with some dirt, a stuff on Nar Vassel Emo, where there's a big flood. Hurricane Ian came and it uprooted the tree along with some of the accompanying dirt next to it. Miochalichios Potter. If the tree, uh, and then it gets replanted in some a new place. So if it could remain living based on uh, the dirt, the original dirt that was accompanying it, doesn't need the new dirt at all, right? We're able to estimate that it would have been able to grow even without the new dirt. It's potter because <clears throat> it's uh, it has to be uh, in a place where you planted it. You planted it and it's now somewhere else. That's not how I have an love. However... If it needs the new dirt, and now it's really replanted in a new place, so therefore it's like we said in the Mishnah before that if it's Ola Me'ela, if it comes by itself in its in its place, Bim Como, it's Chayav. Nekar Asel Amisido, Oshizasa Macharisha, Oshizasa Vasa Ochafar, Miocha Lichios Potter of Imlav Chayav. Let's say it remains in the same place, but some of the dirt left; it got moved, or the plow comes through a field and moves some of the dirt. Or there was an earthquake, let's say, uh, and it made uh, it made uh, it moved the dirt. In Yochalichios Potter, if the tree could still live in its place without the dirt that was removed, Potter in Lav Chayev. Even now, you need more dirt to help it grow. So therefore, um, um, then the new dirt. It's like you replanted it now, so it's Chayev and Orla, but. Um, if some of the dirt was remain was was not there anymore. So again, that's also not like it's in Bimkomo. It's not really in its place because the place of a tree includes the soil that accompanies the tree, and helps the roots grow. So if some of that gets moved, so therefore even if it, if it doesn't need any more soil, it's like it moved to a different place already. We'll have to explain this more going forward. And it's not having or however, if there's new dirt that comes and now enables it to grow, wouldn't it be able to grow that new dirt? It's like it's Ola Me'elav, it just was plant, came up by itself, and it's Chayim and Orla. Stay tuned for Ian Mitzion, where we talk more in Mishnah, Mishnah Bays about um, 
the, a non-Jew planting a tree or planting a tree in the field of a non-Jew? Is there a difference? Uh, does it have to be in the field of a Jew? Uh, usually our law applies outside of Eretz Yisrael also. To what extent does it apply outside of Eretz Yisrael? There's two different... It's Chaim Darais in Eretz Yisrael and outside of Eretz Yisrael it's Allah Majestina which is also Darais but it's not exactly the same din. It's not learned out of the Pesukim. What's the difference between Allah Majestina and the Mitzvah in Eretz Yisrael? If you want to find that out and more, stay tuned for Yom Etzion coming up next.